We have this characteristic image of what a chameleon is, and a lot of that has to do with their unique features like their color change ability, their independently rotating eyes, and their explosive tongue projection performance, where they project their tongues out of their mouth to capture prey. Aristotle first described some of uh, chameleon tongue projection and how dynamic it was. And it's something that's been studied for centuries. But until recently, the technology really wasn't there to start looking at it at a fine scale. A full feeding event from tongue projection to retraction to that initial bite down of the chameleon's jaws on its prey takes less than half of a second like the snap of a finger, and there's no way that you can see that feeding in real time. And so the answer to this is using high-speed video. I set up Chameleon up on a wooden dowel, and then I dangle a cricket up ahead of them in front of their body on a little piece of pet screen that I call a cricket trapeze. He's locked on. Prior to feeding, a chameleon will hone in. They'll focus both of their eyes forward on the prey. They'll kind of lean forward. They'll begin to open their mouth and protrude the tongue. Got it. I film feeding events at 3,000 frames per second, about 100 times the rate of conventional video. I use high-speed video cameras to slow the motion down and then analyze uh, the performance of chameleon tongue projection. The way that the chameleon tongue projection works is that the tongue has muscle components, it has bony components, and it has elastic components. The muscles in the tongue begin to contract and exert force around the tongue skeleton. And in the process, you're putting energy into these elastic tissues that eventually needs to be released. Chameleon tongue projection is a lot like a bow and arrow. When uh, you draw a bow back, your muscle is exerting force to draw the bow back. And then when you release the bow, it's the recoil of that elastic element that is allowing the arrow to be projected at extremely high performance. The force and energy that's used to project the tongue is imparted at the initial phase, and then the tongue travels to the prey item under its momentum alone, at which point the muscles begin to contract and draw the tongue and the prey back into the mouth Chameleons are actually extremely diverse. Across the 206 different species of chameleons, they range an incredible amount in their body size. The smallest chameleon species as adults are less than one centimeter in body length. Then we have larger species that can reach a foot, a foot and a half in, in body length. You know, looking at some of the high-speed videos of these smaller species and looking at some of the numbers that were coming out of the performance, um, it was kind of shocking because it seemed like some of these smaller species maybe projected their tongues out further distances at higher accelerations than these larger species. Previous estimates had shown that chameleons were projecting their tongues between one and two body lengths, which is impressive. But we actually found that these small chameleon species can project their tongues out as much as two and a half body lengths, and that smaller species do project their tongues proportionately further than larger species. And that makes sense. When any animal is feeding, it basically comes down to how much energy they need to sustain themselves. And one of the basic principles in metabolism is that smaller animals need a proportionately larger amount of calories to survive. And so a mouse, for instance, needs to consume a larger amount of food for its body size than an elephant. Small chameleons need to be able to eat more food for their body size than large chameleons. And so being able to project their tongues proportionately further than these large species, they basically are opening up additional feeding opportunities to themselves that they wouldn't have if they had a shorter tongue. We did find that the velocities were about the same, so chameleons shoot their tongues out at about the same velocity regardless of their body size. However, smaller species are capable of producing accelerations that are the highest among any reptile, bird, or mammal that's ever been recorded. A 
elastic recoil mechanisms are actually fairly ubiquitous in animal movement. We have our Achilles tendons. Kangaroos hop using the recoil of uh, elastic tissues. A frog jumping includes recoil of tendons. By understanding how chameleons incorporate elastic tissue to get around constraints about reaching a velocity over a short period of time, it helps us gain an understanding of how other animals are using these same mechanisms to their benefit as well.